What's going on everybody? My name is Michael Weir and today we are going to talk about a brand new movie called Operation Fortune. Now Operation Fortune is directed by Guy Ritchie and yes Guy Ritchie is the same one that directed both Sherlock Holmes movies and a movie called The Gentleman which came out in 2020 which I absolutely loved and he directed one of my favorite movies of all time and that is Snatch which I own on 4k Blu-ray Steelbook because it's just a perfect movie and then he did direct a movie called Wrath of Man in 2021 with Jason Statham that was really bad, like really, really, really bad. I have a review on it, you can check it out. But it really soured me on Guy Ritchie and Jason Statham teaming up. And then Guy Ritchie was like, oh, I'm gonna make another movie. And I was interested. And he's like, and it stars Jason Statham. I was like, I don't know, it's just, he, Breath of Man was so bad, but he's got a great track record before that, so I should give it a chance. So I went and saw Operation Fortune last night, and I'm glad I did, I'm glad I gave it a chance, because this movie was a fun time. It has its problems, but I had fun with it. Let's do the review. What are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna shoot at them, Danny. So you weren't seen by anyone? Yes. That's a yes? You weren't seen by anyone? Yes. Or a yes, you were seen by someone. Yes. And so guys, Operation Fortune, like I said, is directed by Guy Ritchie. It stars Jason Statham. And the movie opens with a device being stolen by a terrorist group a group in general there's a bad guy group that steals a device and they don't tell you what the device is in fact when jason statham gets called in to be on the team to go retrieve the device they don't even know what the device is they don't know what it is or what it can do they just know that it's out there and it needs to get brought back by any means necessary and there was a certain point in this movie where i really didn't think they were going to uh tell the audience what the device was like there's even a moment where they come down to it and they open a briefcase and statham looks in the briefcase and they don't tell the audience what is going on with this device and I was like, oh, this is going to be like a Pulp Fiction thing where the, the plot of the movie revolves around this device, but the device isn't the story of the movie. It's really the characters. So you don't need to know what the device is. I'm like, that's, that's interesting that they're going that route. But then they didn't go that route. They ended up revealing what it is later on in the movie. But I'll get to my likes and my dislikes later. As far as the plot goes, they chase this thing around. And basically what happens is Jason Statham's team just almost gets to the device. And then another team comes in and wrecks his plans. And then they do that again, and they do it again, and they do it again, where Statham's team goes in, and another team ruins their plans. And it gets to the end, where one of those teams gets the device. That's all I'll say. I don't want to spoil things for you guys. I had a fun time with this movie. If that synopsis sounds good, you should go check out this movie in theaters. Honestly, it's not, it's not a bad time, but let me get into my likes and my dislikes. For my first like of this movie, guys, I really enjoy Jason Statham's character, and I really enjoy Jason Statham's violence in this movie. And what I mean by that is that he just... Any time he hits, like he's got this one move he uses on a lot of guys where he does like this backhand and anytime he connects with someone's face, you feel it in the audience. It's it's powerful. So I really liked watching Jason Statham and I knew he was going to have some action in this movie. So I, I was anticipating that and I really think that that was paid off. So if you're a Jason Statham fan for the fact that he's got really cool action scenes, you'll like this movie. Now it also has a lot of that classic Guy Ritchie humor, which kind of comes at you in a way where you're like, oh, that's kind of funny. But then he does something else like throw a guy over a balcony to make the joke even funnier. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. So there's humor like that within this movie where he'll he'll kind of come at you one way and you're like, oh, that, that, that works for me. And then he just, it's hilarious the second time around. And Guy Ritchie, he's able to do that with most of his movies where he's able to infuse this uh, comedy, whether it's by dialogue or it's by just a way a character looks at another character that makes you laugh and makes you enjoy the movie. And you're like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm eating this up. I, I'm liking this. And he does a good job with that. So getting into dislikes here, guys, I got to say that I think Guy Ritchie is best when he has someone narrating a movie because I feel like the flow of the movie is so much better because Guy Ritchie likes to throw a lot of plots at you, a lot of twists, a lot of turns, and sometimes they all really work like movies like The Gentleman or Snatch and sometimes they don't like Wrath of Man. And then in this movie, there's just no one guiding the audience. So you've just, you really got to be locked in on this movie. And again, with Guy Ritchie movies, there's just so much going on. It's easier, at least for me, if there's some narration going on throughout the movie. So like in Snatch, you have Jason Statham himself kind of moving the movie along, explaining what was going on in the underworld. And then in The Gentleman, you have Matthew McConaughey doing a lot of explaining, and you have Hugh Grant's character doing a lot of explaining. But they kind of cut all of that out for this movie. So you're kind of trying to piece it together with the crew and maybe that's what he was going for maybe he was going for like more of a, a thriller mystery than he was going for an action comedy but there's so much action comedy in this and there's so many plot lines coming together at once that it would have been nice to sort of have that Guy Ritchie narration going on throughout the movie and without it 
I got lost a lot. The other thing I'll say is, and this contributes to getting lost a lot in the movie, is the plot itself is weak. I mean, yes, you've got a device that people are trying to grab, but that is essentially the entire plot of this movie. And then you've got all these very eccentric characters, very exciting characters, but because the plot is so weak and they're relying on the characters to bring you through the movie without the narration explaining to you, again, it's all kind of tied together. But that's my biggest issue with this movie is that I just found myself sort of checking out throughout this movie. And then there'd be an action scene and I'd be like, oh, this is really cool. And there'd be something funny and be like, oh, that was funny. But then I'd check out again because the plot just didn't do it for me personally. Overall, guys, I'll say that I had a good time with Operation Fortune. It's not a movie that I'll necessarily rush back to the theaters for, but it's a movie I'll say that if you like Guy Ritchie's style of action or his style of comedy, then I think this movie will work for you. And I think this movie should do better than it will in theaters. I just think that it's kind of getting dropped at a weird time. You got Creed 3, you got Scream 6 next week. You got all these big movies, John Wick for action fans. So I, I think this movie is just kind of getting buried in the month of March. But that's my review for Operation Fortune, guys. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to share this review with your friends, make sure that by hitting the share button. If you have seen Operation Fortune and you've got thoughts and comments, put those in the comment section down below because I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this movie. And finally, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that because I got a lot of content coming your way, including... Next week, we get Scream 6. This week, we get Creed 3. Like, I've got so many more reviews to do, so there's a lot of content coming, and if you want to see my thoughts on those, you just have to click that little subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys. Well, another review. This time it was an action thriller. Next time it'll be a horror or another action boxing movie. I'm going to see Creed 3 and Children of the Corn tomorrow. Anyway, the point is, guys, that if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to watch any of my other reviews, I got all my 2022 reviews right there and all my 2023 reviews right there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.